good morning friends today we will uh, discuss a important topic in the urogenital system that is the urethritis so first of all uh, first of all we will see what case can come that is a 30 year old male had developed mucopurulent urethral discharge followed by development of dysuria urethral irritation there was a history of multiple sexual partner microscopy of the urethral swab revealed intracellular gram negative diplococci so it is a case of std that you can see from the history there is a history of mucopurulent urethral discharge so mucopurulent going in the favor of some bacterial cause and when we look for the microscopy there is a gram negative diplococci now we have to look which diplococci that can cause the um, this std so this going in the favor of nizeria because it caused the gonorrhea disease so what is the diagnosis this is a gonorrhea what are the other manifestation uh, produced by the causative agent and how is the infection diagnosed in the laboratory now we particularly comes to the urethritis so uh, this urethritis where there is inflammation and discharge from the urethra uh, it has been divided on the basis of gonococcal and non gonococcal if nizeria gonorrhea is causing it is called as gonococcal and other causes have been classified under one category that is the non gonococcal so in non gonococcal we have chlamydia trachomatis mycoplasma hominis urea plasma urethrica herpes simplex candida albicans if we talk about the uh, fungus virus herpes and trichomonas vaginalis that is among the parasite so basically uh, Uh, this non gonococcal is bacterial then fungal then viral and parasitic so all causes you have to include in this and one total that is a gonococcal now particularly when we talk of gonococcal urethritis here i will cover uh, what are the symptom in this but along with that what are the other symptom or the other diseases can be caused by nizeria as a whole i will cover in this topic so that this whole topic will be covered but when that uh, question comes related to only urethritis so please mention only related to urethritis so this nizeria gonorrhea is a gram negative diplococci so this is very important and it is kidney shape it is non capsule so all the things are very important because whenever any sample comes to us so we first of all we do the gram stain and from there we can have some information that this could be the bacteria there it causes gonorrhea that is a sexually transmitted infection and what are the other manifestation in this that is a cervicitis urethritis and conjunctivitis so one is a urethral this inflammation also there is inflammation in the conjunctiva and in case of the female they could be the cervicitis that is a cervix inflammation so what are the virulence factor for this one is the pili and this is the most important uh, virulence factor for this bacteria as it help in adhesion of the bacteria to the host cell and prevent from the phagocytosis then outer membrane protein so it helps in making the pores and they help in the exchange of the molecules then opacity associated protein that will also help in adhesion to the neutrophil then transferrin binding protein iga protease so they all help in causing the disease so when we talk about the clinical features it is the very important sexually transmitted disease or the vandal disease and in male the most common presentation is acute urethritis so there is a uh, inflammation and the urethral discharge now the discharge what type of discharge is coming that is very important when we differentiate between the other uh, urethritis so uh, the word gonorrhea means that the flow of seed that means the discharge will resemble like that of the semen so that is uh, the discharge will be mucopurulent that is very important and incubation period is 2 to 7 days untreated patient if the treatment is not taken then it may go in the complication like epididymitis prostatitis where there is inflammation of epididymis prostate and balanitis and if the infection is spread to the periurethral tissue 
so there will be abscess and the sinus sinus formation will be there so that is that condition is known as water can perineum so what does the presentation the female that is usually they are asymptomatic and if there is any presentation then the mucopurulent cervicitis is the most important most common they will be discharged vaginal discharge then there could be vulvovaginitis bartholin gland involvement endometrium involvement or fallopian tube get involved then the most important is the pelvic inflammatory disease that can lead to the infertility then there is important uh, which is very rare fitz hug curtis syndrome that's it these uh, uh, different names can come as important mcqs so this fitz hug curtis syndrome is the when there is involvement of peritoneum peritonitis along with the perihepatic inflammation so when these two things are there then it is the fitz hug curtis syndrome now in case of pregnant female if there is a infection of this nasaria so it can lead to the premature rupture of the membrane premature delivery so these all things will not come in urethritis we are only in urethritis you have to mention only this type of discharge is there then what uh, sample will you take how the patient will come so here i am also including all the uh, manifestation of nasaria therefore i am telling all the things but this you will not write when the question comes as uh, gonococcal urethritis or short not on urethritis so in pregnant female there can be premature rupture of membrane premature delivery chorio amnitis or the there can be sepsis of the infant in neonates ophthalmia neonatorum that you can see there is involvement of the eyes very rarely there can be disseminated gonococcal infection that means this bacteria has spread through the blood stream so that is very rare uh, that is gonococcal bacteremia and what uh, clinically you see that is the polyarthritis the joints will be involved and they can be a condition endocarditis rarely they can be dermatitis too so this is the disseminated gonococcal infection so this could be presentation but that can be very rare now we uh, talk about the epidemiology so in developed countries the incidence of these stds this gonococcal infection is going down in developing countries still it's a public health problem and more important thing along with uh, in these stds there is a social stigma attached with the std therefore usually the patient until unless he is facing lot of problem only then he will go to the doctor therefore that condition is very difficult to treat and also it is still often unreported so under reporting is there therefore we are not able to know what is the exact situation in our country transmission asymptomatic carriers are the main person who are transmitting because they are not knowing that they are carrying and they are transferring this bacteria to other person very less often the patient are transmitting the infection and mode of transmission is sexually more from male to female it's more common or perinatally that is from mother to child now uh, the very important how we will diagnose these cases so if it is a case of urethritis so you will have the urethral swab and if there is a case of female where you have cervicitis so you have to take the endo cervical swab not vaginal swab because if you will take vaginal swab there will be no findings and uh, what swab you will use that is you cannot use cotton swab this is very important where there are rules you have to remember because they can be asked in the viva question so dacron and rayol swabs are very important that you have to use cotton swabs are inhibitory for this bacteria now once the swab comes to the lab first of all we will do the gram stain so what we see from the sample because it's a pus sample so you will see the pus cells pus cells will be there and within these pus cells there will be certain bacteria which are gram negative and they are kidney shaped diplococci so two two bacteria are together and they are kidney shaped so that will give you a some presumptive diagnosis and they are intracellularly 
now what transport media you can use that is the me's transport media uh, because for this area you need some transport media so me's another is the stewards transport media so that you have to you can use either of the two then you can see this is the gram stain so it's not from the plate it's from the sample directly from the swab we have uh, make the smear on the slide and or you can also have that directly the discharge can be taken so this is very important when you are taking the urethral uh, discharge that can also be taken on the uh, slide also from there we can make the smear so this you can see that these are the pus cells and within the pus cells intracellularly you can see two two bacteria are together and these are gram negative and shape if you go for shape you can uh, if make focus on that so you will notice that there is some kidney shape the gram negative diplococci uh, what media we can use for this that is a thayer martin agar media this is very important is area gonorrhea you need the selective medias so this is a thayer martin agar media and you can see the colonies of nizeria so uh, transport uh, when you are taking a sample transport in the stewards or ampins media selective media you need for growing the bacteria so thayer martin media uh, then microscopic examination so once there will be growth so you will do the gram staining again you will go for the motility and then you do the biochemical testing so on microscopic examination you will see the gram negative diplococci same thing then biochemically it will come as oxidase positive catalyst positive it forms glucose and you can also go for the molecular methods that is a polymerase chain reaction when we talk about the treatment so drug of choice is the ceftriaxone cefixim because it is orally if you want to go for the oral treatment and uh, it has been seen whenever there is gonococcal urethritis so they can be associated uh, this non gonococcal that is a chlamydia infection so usually it is being said that when we are giving ceftriaxone add azithromycin to this so that the chlamydia infection can also be covered so it will be better so early detection of cases and treatment of both the partner this is very important whenever any std you are treating so you must treat the other partner also otherwise the infection will goes on so treat both the partners tracing of contact if anyone has got the infection from them so trace the contacts also treat them and health education about the safe sex practices so that this infection can be controlled so uh, when we uh, talk about this uh, gonococcal infection so among the urethritis very important is the urethral discharge from there only you will get a clue second clue you will get when you will do the gram stain of that and third when you will do the culture from there you can clear all the doubts so that's all about the gonococcal urethritis uh, i will soon make the non gonococcal urethritis there i will share um, what is the difference between the gonococcal and the non gonococcal urethritis so it will be easy when a case comes of urethral discharge in the lab thank you if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section